Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at using the iCloud Documents features in Mountain Lion. So with Mountain Lion, we can finally save documents from pages, numbers, and keynote to the same iCloud document space as we've been using already on iOS, say on the iPad. So for instance, you can save your pages documents not only to your local hard drive as before, but also to this iCloud disk space that's up on Apple servers. And that's a shared space between your iOS devices using Pages and your Macs using Pages. So when I first open up Pages here, I could see the Open File dialog looks completely different. It has two modes, iCloud and On My Mac. If I switch to On My Mac, it looks just like it did before, the typical Finder open window here that's in just about every application. But iCloud looks a little different. kind of looks like it does when you try to open up something on the iPad. And you can see the documents here that are stored in iCloud. So these are all documents up on Apple's servers. If I would look in pages on my iPad, I would see exactly the same documents there. And I could select one and choose to open it. Now I could also do other things. For instance, I can create a new document here by clicking this button. Um, and once I do that, uh, it will allow me to choose a template just as Pages always has. And the first time I go to save it, I'm going to go File, Save. It'll tell me where I want to save it. And I can save it to iCloud or to a location on my hard drive as before. Now there's a little expansion button there. Notice it's inactive when we're looking at iCloud. But if I would go to say Documents, then I can expand it as before and see everything that I saw before. Switching back to iCloud will give me this simple window here and I can create a name. So let me just call this testing and save to iCloud. Now when I close that and go to open a new document, you'll see it goes to iCloud and I have that testing document right here. It even tells me the last time that it was updated. Now one thing that's not immediately obvious is this window here, even though it's an open dialog in pages, acts kind of like a finder window. So for instance, if I wanted to take this testing document and actually move it to my local hard drive, say on the desktop or a finder window, I can drag it out and move it over. So now it's on my local hard drive. Likewise, if I have a document on my local hard drive on the desktop or a finder window, I could drag it in. So this is kind of like Finder, but only the Finder for Pages for the iCloud account for it. So uh, you could drag things back and forth. Also, you can create folders. There's no new folder button here like there is in a regular open dialog, but you can create them by dragging one document onto the other, just like you could with uh, iOS in, and the uh, app icons. So I'm just going to call this My Folder. And there I go. I've got it in there. I can open it. I can rename it. I can drag something out of it if I wanted to. I can drag another document into it. Um, so that's how you can manage folders. So this is just a folder inside of my Pages iCloud space. Now if I were to uh, create a new document here and save it, you're going to see that I've got the ability to save it to iCloud at the top level or that folder name right there. So the folders will appear here. There's also a contextual menu here. I can control click uh, or uh, two finger click and rename, uh, move to trash. That was, that's how I would delete a file from this. Uh, duplicate it, do a quick look of this and share in various different ways. Um, and also I could drag this to the actual trash can on my Mac and it will behave properly. And this works for Keynote and Numbers here in Keynote. I haven't put anything in it yet, but it's the same exact window. So a few things you should know about iCloud document space. First of all, every app has its own space. So when you open Pages, you only can see Pages documents. And it's true across Macs and the iOS devices. You can see all the Pages documents, but you can't, while running Pages, see, say, Keynote or Numbers documents. Likewise for Numbers and Keynote. Other applications like TextEdit, TextEdit has the shared iCloud space for Macs, but there's no text edit app on the iPad or iPhone. So there's no way to get access to those documents because there's no app that is text edit that will run and look for those. Of course, also keep in mind that these applications are a little different between iOS and Mac. So for instance, there are things you can do in Pages that aren't available in Pages for iOS. So you get warning messages if you try to open a document on your iPad that's using a feature that's not available on the iPad. 
Now, as time goes on, we're going to find more and more applications, particularly third party applications, that are hooking into iCloud. So, some of your favorite apps right now may behave like they always have, just saving files to the hard drive. But soon there might be updates to some of those that allow you to save documents to iCloud. And there may even be iOS apps that are the equivalent that allow you to open up those files. So your favorite app developers may be getting ready to use iCloud as well as continuing to use local hard drive space as well. Indeed, we may be looking at a future where you don't save anything to your local hard drive. Everything's saved to the cloud. And if you're using, say, just pages, numbers, a keynote, and applications like that, um, that could be very soon. For people editing images and video, it's going to be a lot further in the future as those files are huge and harder to actually store online. So I hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.